Performer, performer, and he's right behind me, and he is going to play for you guys and for Mary Beth and her spirit. Aaron knew Mary Beth very well, and actually uh, recorded the final track, the, the title track of this album, when we weren't sure if she could do it. Um, and he might speak to that a little bit, but please, right now, put your hands together for my friend and yours, Aaron Nathans. Thank you, Pat. Boy, what an honor it is to be here tonight to play for the friends of the of my friend Mary Beth D'Amico. You know, I met Mary Beth at a folk music conference in uh, in the year 2012, and um, there's a lot of a lot of people in the folk community who are good players and good singers and good songwriters, and, and it, believe me, she was every bit those. So that triple threat. But the thing that really struck me about Mary Beth was that she was just good. She was a good person and a, a, a great soul and a great spirit and I could tell that right away. Um, and uh, she, uh, I found out uh, maybe about six months after I met her that, that, that she was uh, that she was sick. Um, but she was still at that point getting around pretty well and she actually uh, wanted to do a tour uh, and so she came down to Delaware and, and stayed at my place and we did a show together and um, played this song and this song really knocked me out I heard this one and I'm like oh boy wow um, yeah I know Mary Beth really wanted to be a part of the folk community you know, she came up back from Germany um, a few years uh, prior and she was really working hard to integrate herself into the New York folk community. In order to do that, you need to uh, you know, go to a lot of other people's shows and, uh, and uh, do a lot of open mics and just you know, spend a lot of time, spend a lot of time working it. And time was something that Mary Beth did not have in abundance at that point. Um, and I, we never really talked about what this song meant. Uh, you can never really tell what a song of hers was about, even if she told you. Because um, I know that uh, she kind of put herself into the songs and then kind of denied it later on. That was what she liked to do. Um, but the way I like to think of it, that this song, which is not on this album, but she did record it. And our friend uh, Maya, uh, Mia, uh, recorded this for Mary Beth at one point. Um, I, I believe that this song is about what to do when uh, you're uh, buying clothes for the season you're in and not uh, not buying them for the next season. I mean that metaphorically. <laughs> She didn't have a lot of time left. But this song, this song's got all the time in the world. Everybody's planning all the things they want to do. Everybody's running, where does that leave you? You're in a world of worry, don't know where you're supposed to be. Cause there are only two ways to let yourself be free. Find joy in every little thing. Like when the sun shines through the trees and Take heart from someone else's smile Or the feeling of the breeze Living in the moment's what they say you've got to do. I don't see many doing it, but I can try it too. But there are only two days that you can't get nothing done. 
Yesterday, tomorrow, today is here to love. Find joy in every little thing, like when the sun shines through the trees. Take heart from someone else's smile, or the feeling of the breeze. I can't go on I must go on I can't go on I must go on Find joy in every little thing like when the sun shines through the trees and take heart from someone else's smile or the feeling of the breeze and take heart from someone else's smile or the feeling of the breeze Thank you. Before I forget, Pat, thank you, Pat. I mean, thank you for doing all this stuff, you know. I mean, this is this is her album, but this is your project. Because you made this happen. You pulled this out of her. You saved these songs. God bless you for doing this. And thank you for bringing us out here tonight. Well, I, uh, about a year ago, I got a job offer, which I took, and I am working in Princeton, New Jersey, which is where Mary Beth grew up. I knew exactly uh, one person in Princeton, New Jersey when I got the job, and that was Mary Beth's mom. And so um, the day, uh, a couple days after I started, she took me over to see the old guard at Princeton University, and uh, and that was an experience. We've had coffee a couple times. Marge, you're out there on video. I know you're uh, thinking of me tonight. Thanks for being a good friend of me. I went, I was uh, over getting a, uh, I was getting a beard trim a couple of weeks ago and the fellow had a picture of, uh, of Springsteen on his window and um, on his mirror and I said, Springsteen's been here to Princeton and he's like, yeah, he comes once a year to have uh, dinner with his buddies. And so, uh, there's a statue of Bruce Springsteen in Princeton, and I know that uh, Mary Beth was a fan, so I'm going to do a, a Springsteen song. This is, uh, this is for you, Mary Beth. up in the evening and I ain't got nothing to say I come home in the morning I go to bed feeling the same way I ain't nothing but tired I'm just tired and bored with myself hey there baby I can use just a little help. You can't start a fire. You can't start a fire without a spark. This comes for hire. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. Messages keep getting clearer. Radio's on and I'm moving round the place. I check my look in the mirror. Wanna change my hair, my clothes, my face, and I ain't getting nowhere. I'm just living in a dumb 
like this Something happened somewhere Oh, I just know that you can't start a fire You can't start a fire without a spark This gun's for hire Even if we're just dancing in the dark Somewhere and it's on me. Shake this world off my shoulders. Come on, baby, last on me. Stay on the streets of this town. They'll be driving you up all night. You say you gotta stay hungry. This gun's for hire Even if we're just dancing in the dark Even if we're just dancing in the dark 